So can you tell me about the living landscape plans? Yeah, so this site falls within our East GR living landscape area um, and the whole ethos behind it is linking up nature and habitats to provide a more sustainable future for wildlife. Um, there's no point in having a single great site, you need to have these sites linked together so wildlife can move between them. And this area is absolutely fantastic for that. So we've got our land holding here, we've got a local nature conservation body literally just on our border to the west, um, and then over to the east we've got a substantial RSPB reserve. Um, there's a small gap in between but we're hoping to bridge that gap um, through the lottery um, with a project coming up in 2015 which will enable us to buy this block of land and that will link us right next to the RSPB so it creates a huge corridor of wildlife areas you know areas of land that are being managed directly for wildlife and for people and for access so you know it's fantastic it makes a much more robust system where wildlife can move migrate around um, species can improve biodiversity can improve and then there's a chance for people to engage with it as well but it, and it's mostly along the river as well isn't it, it is along the mostly along the river catchment as well so it'd be a whole sort of wetland floodplain system um, and you know that would be a massive bonus for the island um, and on top of that we also do lots of land advice for local farmers talk to local people organizations about it so lots of engagement and through our work on the site here we're hoping to influence local landowners you know be it farmers or just people with a small field um, so they can get on board with it and help contribute to this whole living landscape area thank you